Okay, now that we have talked about CSV, let's see two other very common formats, XML and JSON. XML and JSON are the most common formats that are used in APIs. Knowing how to work with them is essential for any web developer. JSON is more human readable and very light in terms of size and it's not very verbose. It means it doesn't have a lot of words that are not necessary. A lot of modern APIs are using JSON to parse data. For example, if I wanted to share my social media account information as a JSON, uh, it would look something like this. It would be accounts and then Twitter is this, LinkedIn is this, my blog is this one and GitHub is this one. Here I should also add a comma. You see how readable it is? It doesn't have a lot of extra unnecessary words to describe each part and it's very easy to work with in PHP. XML is a bit more verbose. It means it has a lot of unnecessary and repeated words. If I wanted to show the same information uh, from my social media as an XML file, it would look something like this. As you can see, it has a lot of words like accounts, accounts, then account, account type. And again, the ending tag, it has a lot of unnecessary words and it's very verbose. At first sight, you might say, why should I even bother working with XML? But XML has some advantages over JSON, like validating the structure and the format and the data that we have here is much easier in XML. It's so uh, it's a good idea to know how to work with both of them. Luckily for us, PHP is very good at helping us working with both of them. So let's start with JSON. In PHP, reading JSON is very easy because there is a function called JSON decode. Let me clear this part so I will be able to get my autocomplete back. JSON decode will parse the JSON and returns an array. Then you can work with the data like any other array in PHP. It takes two arguments. The first argument is the JSON itself. And the second argument is a Boolean that telling PHP if you want to parse this uh, JSON as associative array or not. In most of the JSON data, since there is a clear key and value pair, I prefer to keep this as true. But in some cases, you might need it to be false. It depends on the data and your preferences. Here, let's convert the JSON string here. Let me store it as a string. And then let's convert it to an array to be able to work with it. Here, JSON decode will convert this JSON string that we have to an array. And since I specified true, it will give me a associative array. Before I show you the result, just have in mind that here we define the JSON as a string, but in your application and your website, the JSON data can be coming from a file or it can be coming from an API. In all the cases, you can store the JSON in a variable and then use this function to decode it, no problem. So let's do it. This uh, will give me an array. So let's see the array. Do you remember we should use print R to be able to print our array? Let's see php index.php. Let's see how it looks. Perfect. It looks exactly like an associative array. It's an account, and the account is also an array. It's Twitter, the link, LinkedIn, the link, blog link, and GitHub the link so and if I wanted to access any of these data I would write a for each loop and then go through every one of them for example if I wanted to get uh, the account itself I didn't want to show this I would get PHP R because it's also an array I will show I will still use print R 
let me see what would it give me okay here are the accounts I could write okay this is accounts then for each accounts as accounts because I want to show the key and value as well I could use the other format of for each I could say okay account is the key and then I have the value as a link I can then echo uh, my address for this account is link and then I could also add php end of line let me see let me delete that let's see if we got the result oh <laughs> that echo here here is php index.php and as you can see my address for twitter is this my address for linkedin is this my blog is this and github is perfect now if we wanted to write json we could convert an array to json like here we have json decode we also have json encode json encode it will get an array as argument and then it will parse it and returns a json for example if i had my accounts as an array something like this let me comment this part out okay if i had an array of my account information i could give this array to this json encode and this would return a json for me and since json is just another string i could simply echo this out so let's see let me clean this part php index.php oops php and here as you can see it has given me a beautiful json accounts twitter it has also escaped the characters for links because links have slashes it's perfect now let's get to xmls let me comment this part out there are two classes that can help us read xmls in php the first one is dom document and then the second one is simple xml element let's work with both of them let's create an object from those classes and see how to parse the data from our xml string let me bring the xml string as well this was our account in xml let me have it here as xml equals to this data again like json here i have my xml as a string but your xml could be coming from a file or an api in both cases we can use the same functionalities and classes and it works perfectly fine so let's get it started the very first thing is that we need to create an object from this we need to like dom equals to new dom document oops new dom document this will give me something that i can work with now i need to load the xml this has a function called dom load xml and here i can pass the xml perfect now this will parse this xml for me and then i can search different tags and nodes and attributes and work with them in xml each one of these are called a node each one of them are called an attribute this is the attribute value and this is the attribute name this is the node name and this is the node value inside the node is the node value so let's see i want to find all the nodes with the name account and then i want to get their attributes and their value what can i do i can write okay first i want to get all the accounts equals to dom dom get elements by tag name exactly this one thanks to the autocomplete now here i can write this one i don't need to get that one because that's only the first okay this will return a list of items if there is nothing it will 
written null but if there are items it will give me a list and i can work with that okay this account now i can write a for each loop to get these accounts as accounts now each item of this loop is an account in each account as we have seen we have an attribute called type with the value of what I want to get and the node value is the link so let's see so the name of the website is account account get attribute attribute and here I will specify the name of the attribute which is type and for the link, I can say, okay, the link is account node value because right inside my account, I have that. And then let's see, let's, uh, let's see if we could get the data we needed. Okay, the address again of my name, name of the account is link and PHP end of line perfect let's let's see if I have something here no everything is clear I can run the file PHP index.php let's see if we could get the data correctly perfect the address of my Twitter is Twitter LinkedIn LinkedIn perfectly fine as you can see we got the attribute which is here and then we got the node value Another way of reading XML is using simple XML element. As I mentioned before, this returns an XML element that behaves like an object, but inside the object, the attribute itself and values are like arrays. So as the name suggests, this is very simple to use, but sometimes you might face some strange behaviors. For now, let's see if we can parse this data with simple XML element as well. Let me see, I have accounts equals to, let's first create an object and simple, let me copy it from here. This as the constructor gets a argument and the argument here is the XML. This, as I said, will return an object and each object then is like an array i could use it like an array so i could write for each accounts as account then i don't have to do something like get attributes and node value i can say okay account type is the name and the account itself will return the link as account now i could echo something like we have already had echo the name is link so let's see if we could get the data we want if we get any error or not let's clean this part php index.php perfect as you can see the account itself returns the node value but if we wanted to get type we could also get the same account and type and it works perfectly fine that's it for reading the xml now let's see how we can write xml the first way to create an xml is like this you can simply just write xml as an x string if you want but sometimes when we want to deal with a lot of complex xmls uh, we might lose some notes some misspelled word would ruin the whole xml so the better way would be to do something like to use something that would help us in php this simple xml element can also help us write uh, xmls so let's see we can write new simple xml element and inside this we will write uh, the string we had like here to specify that it, this is an XML and I want to create it. We could add children later to it, but I normally add the main tag here as well, which is in this case account, the opening tag and the ending tag. Okay, this will create an XML for me with these two. 
Now all the children, I want to add all the other nodes will be added inside here. Perfect. So let's store it in a variable so I could use it again. Let's say accounts equals to new simple XML element. Now if I want to add a child as I speak in English, add child, you can add child like accounts. Why there is this? Voice like that accounts okay accounts add child and for this child I can write the first argument is the name of the node and the second argument is the value of the node so the name of the node as we have seen here is account and then we will add an attribute to it the, so the name is account and the account node value is the link so I say account and the value is this link I could also add an attribute to this child if I add attribute I could also write what type it is type it was let me I can bring it here for better readability type Twitter now it will create a node like this account type equals to Twitter and the value would be like this it will end the tags for me one of the most common mistake is uh, when we write the XML as a string is this part because we forget to uh, end the tag or we misspell the tag so it wouldn't be parsed correctly it will do that for me it will add the attribute for me in this correct format it's perfectly fine now let's see and it will add all this information between these two main tags and if we want to add multiple tags i can simply write multiple data for now let's see our xml with this one node uh, if we want to save this XML that this simple XML element created for us as an string so we could work with that or print that out or send it out as our API we can use this function accounts why I cannot write accounts account as XML this will convert all this thing that it has created to a string and I can store it like my final XML equals to this and I can simply echo this final XML let's see if everything worked correctly PHP index at PHP and as you can see it has created the XML it has also formatted it for me account and account then it has added a new node add an attribute and the node value and see if we add more nodes if it would work still fine let me write account type what we had here where are those information LinkedIn is here for example LinkedIn and HTTP and is my website so the type would be block so let's see if this worked correctly php index.php and yes it has added the other accounts for me as well perfect you see how easy it is to work with json and xmls php is very powerful uh, now that you know how to work with json and xml and php let's go to the next topic